Hey there and welcome back to the video series about Java effects and charts. We did this basic structure, this basic controller, and we did the, did the UI uh, using scene builder. So that is okay. We, uh, we're probably not gonna need it. I'm just gonna save it and close it here. So we have the controller and we made a simple event handler and now it's time to start creating the the other event handlers. And let's start by the bar chart. I think this is a good one here. So the first thing to do here is that when doing a bar chart, we, we usually have an x-axis and a y-axis. And uh, so we need to have an object called a category axis. Category axis. And if your NetBeans uh, is not auto importing this, you can either put this in manually here or you can go to tools and options editor, code completion, and then select Java, and then check this auto pop-up on typing any Java identifier part. That should uh, enable uh, what we call auto import, that will uh, import these um, dependencies automatically. But we need to give this category axis a name, and that's gonna be the X axis. Oh. So we're just gonna create a new Category axis, yeah. So we got this object there. That is good there. Whoop. And we're gonna, okay, maybe I should type this name correctly. So we have X axis, and we're gonna provide a label for that. It's gonna be about, yeah, we're gonna do this products where we're showing how many. Uh, how much quantity of each product has been sold. So let's just uh, have the x-axis uh, product and then we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna copy this one because it's more or less the same. And that's gonna be the y-axis and so that should be quantity sold. So we have our axis here. Next thing is that we should actually maybe create a bar chart object. So we do that using the usual object-oriented way to do that. And in the constructor of the bar chart, we are able to provide the axis that will be used. So it has already done this automatically. Uh, but I think, yeah, it should be, if we take a look at the constructor, it says X and Y. And uh, somehow it has put both y in the in the parameters. So we're gonna switch to x-axis as the first and then y-axis as the next. So now we need to start to work on the actual data that will go into this uh, this chart. And the way we do this is that we have something called X, xy chart that will contain the data for our data sets. So we do this object here. Uh, let's not put like that, xy series. And we just call them data. We don't need to have the generic one here. Series. Yeah, okay, so we're making an XY chart series and that is gonna be a series of data entries in this, uh, in this bar chart. And first let's just give our, our data a name here. Let's call it products sold. Oh, this scroll is going crazy here. So the next thing to, is to actually provide, provide data. So we're doing data and then get data. And then we're gonna add a new entry. And the type is gonna be XY chart. Oh, it's going crazy now. Data. And we're going for product A. That's the first one there. And let's just uh, put 3,000 sold items. So that is one entry. And we are providing a new one, an XY chart data with uh, a description and then a, uh, a value. So that is the, the X axis and the Y axis. And we're gonna do two more, I think. So let's do product B. So that's not a good product. We've only sold 
and let's, let's imagine 100 here. So they have some different quantities here. Uh, and then finally, we should actually add the data to our bar chart. So bar chart is here and get data. And then we add our, oh, I provided it already. So now we're adding our data set, really simple data set to the bar chart. Final thing is add bar chart to border pane. And recall that we gave our border pane uh, an identification in scene builder and that will do the nice thing that we will get a reference to the border pane in our controller. And that is a nice thing to have here because then we can do, we can do border pane and we can put it, yeah, we can put it in the, now this, the border pane has different areas, uh, so you could put it in the left or right or top or bottom. We're going to put this into center because that is the main area and we would like to show the bar chart there. So we just provide the bar chart there. Okay. Oop. So that is basically it. We are creating the axis, X and Y, creating the bar chart object. We are creating the data set adding the data set to our bar, char bar chart, and then we are adding the complete bar chart object to the border pane in the center. So let's see what happens if we run the program. And nothing happens. Oh, we get an error. What is the error? Do, 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 do. Oh! Axis type incorrect. Yeah, should be category axis and the other number axis. All right. Whoop. Oh, that was a mistake from. Yeah, really bad. Okay, so th the error is that we are providing um, a category, so the x axis is okay, but the y axis is not a category axis. That is, uh, that's a number. So that is my mistake there. Number, whoop, number axis, okay. We're probably gonna import this also. Add import, whoop. So number axis. Yep, so we try again. Let's build it and run it. Go to show bar chart and we have the bar chart here. Okay, so we have three bars here, product A, B, and C, and we can see the different labels that we set, quantity sold, product, and product sold. Maybe this is a little bit overkill that we have product and product sold, and also product, uh, so if, if you wanna hide this legend, this uh, description, we can actually do this by configuring the bar chart. Uh, set legend visible. False. Whoop. Oh, we should close the program. And we should close the program here. So let's run it again. So now it's, we only have two times products. We don't have the legend, legend there. All right, so I think this is enough for this video. I'm gonna create the pie chart in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and have fun with this. Bye-bye.